This is the Music History Today podcast for July 1st. Happy Canada Day. On today's show, one of the greatest voices in soul music passes away. There's a debut from The Walkman, as well as The Band, a classic Beatles song, and a rap classic. First up, though, on this date in 1956, Elvis Presley sang his song Hound Dog to a Basset Hound on the Steve Allen TV show because Steve didn't want to risk showing Elvis swiveling his hips on camera. In 1969, Sam Phillips sold Sun Records Studio. Also in 1969, John Lennon and Yoko Ono were injured in an auto accident. They would both survive. In 1975, Ringo Starr divorced his wife, Maureen. In 1978, Aerosmith, Ted Nugent, and Van Halen played at the Texas Jam Concert in Dallas, Texas. In 1979, Sony sold the very first Walkman. In 1990, country music singer Hank Williams Jr. married model Mary Jane Thomas. In 1998, entertainer Barbara Streisand married actor James Brolin. In 2000, Trent Reznor overdosed on heroin. He recovered and then went to rehab. In 2005, the group Dance Gavin Dance was formed. In 2006, the Bethel Wood Center for the Arts, which was built on the site of the original Woodstock Festival, opened for business. In 2006, same day, singer Jennifer Peterson Hind of the group High Five married musician Tom Corby. In 2007, a tribute concert to Princess Diana was held at Wembley Stadium in London, England. In 2008, Travi McCoy of Gym Class Heroes beat up a fan who called him the N-word at the end of their Warp Tour concert in St. Louis, Missouri. Also in 2008, the Motley Crue Festival Crew Fest started with supporting acts Papa Roach and Buck Cherry. In 2009, Michael Jackson became the first artist to sell over 1 million single downloads in one week. He had passed away only six days earlier, which is what led to the sales surge. In 2011, Selena Gomez starred in the movie Monte Carlo. Also in 2011, guitarist James Hintz married model Kate Moss. In 2013, singer Avril Lavigne married Chad Kroger of Nickelback. In classical music in 1933, the Strauss opera Arabella opened in Germany. In 1960, the cantata Carmen Basiliens from Benjamin Britten premiered. And in 1996, opera legend Placido Domingo became the artistic director of the Washington Opera. In theater, it is closing day on Broadway, as in 1967, the musical Funny Girl closed on Broadway. In 1972, the musicals Hair and Stephen Sondheim's Follies both closed on Broadway. In 1973, the Broadway musical Jesus Christ Superstar closed. In 1978, the musical The Act closed on Broadway. In 1984, the musical Baby closed on Broadway. And... In 1995, the musical Kiss of the Spider-Woman closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on July 1st include in 1957 when Elvis Presley released Loving You. In 1968, the band released Music from Big Pink, a classic album. On that very same day, Jackie DeShannon released Lonely Girl. In 1970, Traffic released John Barleycorn Must Die, Cactus released their self-titled album, Donny Hathaway released Everything is Everything, The Beach Boys released Summertime Blues, and Otis Redding released Tell the Truth. In 1972, the Doobie Brothers released Toulouse Street. In 1973, Jim Croce released Life and Times, and Golden Earring released Moontan. In 1975, Trooper released their self-titled album. In 1977, Ray Campy and his Rockabilly Rebels released Born to Rock. In 1979, the Corgis released their self-titled album. In 1980, the Corgis were at it again, this time releasing Dumb Waiters. In 1984, Loudness released Disillusion. In 1985, Ray Davies released the soundtrack to Return to Waterloo. In 1986, Wham! released Music from the Edge of Heaven. In 1987, Rory Gallagher released Defender. In 1991, Cannibal Corpse released Butchered at Birth. Green Day released 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours. 
and Rick Wakeman released Black Knights at the Court of Ferdinand IV. In 1993, E17 released Walthamstow. In 1994, Wolfstone released Year of the Dog. In 1996, Leonard Skinner released Southern Nights. In 1997, Blues Traveler released Straight On Till Morning. John Hyatt released Little Head. And Limp Biscuit released a $3 bill, y'all. In 1999, Roy Buchanan released Live. In 2001, Splongo released Tales of the Inexpressible. In 2002, Oasis released Heathen Chemistry. In 2010, Trooper released Hits from 10 Albums. In 2014, 38 Special released 10 Live. And in 2016, Focus released Focus 8.5 Beyond the Horizon. Singles that were released on July 1st include in 1960 when The Shadows released the original version of the song Apache. The Sugar Hill Gang gave the spaghetti western surf guitar song a hip-hop beat threw in Tonto Jump On It, Jump On It, Jump On It and turned it into one of the most heavily sampled songs in hip-hop history. In 1963, The Marvelettes released My Daddy Knows Best. In 1966, Donovan released Sunshine Superman. In 1969, The Rascals released People Got to Be Free. Also on that same day, Bob Dylan released his classic Lay Lady Lay. In 1982, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five released the rap classic The Message. In 1983, Laura Branigan released How Am I Supposed to Live Without You. In 1989, Cher released If I Could Turn Back Time. In 1991, Pearl Jam released Alive. In 1996, Hootie and the Blowfish released Tucker's Town. In 1997, 10,000 Maniacs released More Than This. And in 2015, Demi Lovato released Cool for the Summer. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 1st include Debbie Harry of Blondie, blues great Willie Dixon, music video director Hype Williams, rapper and producer Missy Elliott, Roddy Bottom of Faith No More, Fred Schneider of the B-52s, Victor Willis of The Village People, Gospel singer Andre Crouch, singer and actor Dan Aykroyd, singer John Farnham, John Ford of the Straubs, Delaney Bramlett of Delaney and Bonnie, singer Bobby Day, Jack Avery of Why Don't We, singer and dancer Tate McRae, Chloe Bailey of Chloe and Haley, rapper Tae Young, rapper Please, singer Amy Cimarelli of the band Cimarelli. Singer Agnes Moe, singer Holly Steele, and rapper Young B. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 1st include composer Simon Ives, who passed away in 1662 at the age of 61. Composer Mark D'Antonio Pasqualini passed away in 1691 at the age of 77. Composer Wilhelm Friedman Bach passed away in 1784 at the age of 73. Composer George Richel passed away in 1805 at the age of 60. Composer Manuel Tavares passed away in 1883 at the age of 39. Composer Eric Satie passed away in 1925 at the age of 59. Composer Clarence Lucas passed away in 1947 at the age of 80. Musician Emile Jacques Dalcroze passed away in 1950 at the age of 95. The conductor of the Boston Symphony Orchestra from 1919 to 1924, the Concert Gebouw from 1924 to 1934, the Orchestra Symphonique de Paris from 1929 to 1938, and then he got out of Dodge because, well, the Nazis were coming into France. 
San Francisco Symphony from 1936 to 1952, and the London Symphony from 1961 to 1964. Conductor Pierre Monteau passed away in 1964 at the age of 89. Pianist Claude Thornhill passed away in 1965 at the age of 55. The inventor of the Hammond organ, Lawrence Hammond, passed away in 1973 at the age of 78. Composer Mario Labroca passed away in 1973 at the age of 76. Bass player Rushton Marev of Steppenwolf passed away in a car accident in 1981 at the age of 32. Musician John Watts passed away in 1982 at the age of 51. Saxophonist Sandy Moss passed away in 1983 at the age of 54. Musician Snakefinger passed away in 1987 at the age of 38. Composer Helmuth Wolf passed away in 1988 at the age of 82. Composer and writer Lex Van Delden passed away in 1988 at the age of 68. Jazz clarinetist and saxophonist Chauncey Houghton passed away in 1989 at the age of 80. Multi-instrumentalist for the group Them, Ray Elliott, passed away from cancer in 1993 at the age of 54. Jazz singer Lucy Reed passed away in 1998 at the age of 77. Singer and actor Guy Mitchell passed away in 1999 at the age of 72. Reggae singer Dennis Brown passed away from heart issues in 1999 at the age of 42. Guitarist and singer-songwriter for Brownsville Station, Michael Cub Coda passed away from kidney disease in 2000 at the age of 50. Jazz flute player Herbie Mann passed away in 2003 at the age of 73. Composer Todor Slavowski passed away in 2004 at the age of 95. Singer-songwriter extraordinaire Mr. Luther Vandross, one of the greatest voices in R&B music, passed away from heart issues in 2005 at the age of 54. We discuss more about Luther Vandross's life on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which drops actually tomorrow, depending on when you're listening to this. July 1st being a Monday this year, it drops on Tuesdays, usually by 7 p.m. Eastern Time. In any event, in 2005 as well, singer Obi Benson of The Four Tops passed away at the age of 69. Guitarist Mel Galley passed away in 2008 at the age of 60. Opera singer Evelyn Lear passed away in 2012 at the age of 86. Conductor and violinist Oscar C. Yatko passed away in 2014 at the age of 82. Entertainer Val Dunigan passed away in 2015 at the age of 88. Composer Bergeslaw Schaefer passed away in 2019 at the age of 90. Violinist Ida Handel passed away in 2020 at the age of 91. Composer Louis Andreessen passed away in 2021 at the age of 82. And musicologist Richard Tereskin passed away in 2022 at the age of 77. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 2nd, when in 2005, the Live 8 concerts took place. 